Okay, we are at the brand new, kind of beautiful Destrahan Library. This is nice. This is <laughs> much nicer than the Lakewood branch. Look at this. They've got like a covered parking thing and like a glass in area and they've got like beautiful lawn. So this is this is where it's gonna be at. This is the where the Comic Con's gonna be at. All right, so this is my table. It looks like it's six foot wide, maybe a little shorter than two foot. It's nice and steel though. It's one of the nicest library tables I've ever sat at. And this is the room that they have the artist alley in. So it's right down this hall here, right from the front. And this is the hallway, so meeting rooms and restrooms straight down there is the artist alley. Hey guys, I am at Destrahan's first ever Comic Con here in Destrahan, here in Destrahan, Louisiana, and it seems like people are really excited, which is awesome. I grew up in St. Charles Parish, and this is in St. Charles Parish, and I'm so excited to be here for their first comic show. I kind of broke into tears about this at my during my ALAAC recap, so I might cry, I might not, we'll find out. But this is my table. I showed you guys the walk inside. Would you do a 360 to show the other tables? Already there's a pretty good vibe in the room. I look forward to what the rest of this day has to offer. So I'll see you guys later. I would have checked in with you guys at the show, but I was slammed. I was busy the whole time. My friend Domino came by to see me, which I super appreciate because that's a little bit of a drive for her, and it was cool to see her. Um, she and also Destrahan Comic Con was a better show for both of us to hang out than say MechaCon, where I'm going to be crazy and busy, not just busy. Um, so that was awesome to get to see my friend. And um, I had my usual gaggle of teenage girls, which is always appreciated. Thank you so much for coming by. And it was a really good show for me to sell copies of Seven Inch Kara because it's located in St. Charles Parish. Uh, the show is located in St. Charles Parish and my book is set in St. Charles Parish. So it's set in one of the towns in St. Charles Parish. So that was something I mentioned frequently and parents seem to like, because like I've said in other con recaps, there's not a lot um, not a lot for kids in Louisiana that's set in Louisiana, and there's probably nothing set in St. Charles Parish besides Seven Inch Kara. So, um, I definitely made sure to make, to mention that, but it was a really good show. I got to meet a lot of great kids. I got to meet a lot of young ladies, young girls who feel like they're alone, like they're the one, the one weird one in their school or group. So it was really nice to be like, don't worry, you're gonna make more friends. You're gonna meet people who like what you like. They just haven't caught up to you yet. It was nice to be able to give them hope. And my brother is driving, so I hope I'm not distracting him. But we're heading out to go eat some po' boys, which is gonna be nice. We're going to parents. And I had a really good time at this show. I haven't done my numbers yet, and I was so busy at one point that I couldn't get all of my sales, so I'm only gonna be able to give you guys a ballpark number. But I definitely think if you are a Louisiana artist, and I've talked about this on this channel a lot, if you're a Louisiana artist, our opportunities are sometimes limited. So this would be a good show for you. It doesn't cost anything to table. Um, the librarians were extremely friendly, very, very nice. Um, very excited about this show. Um, it of course has a little bit of growing to do because it's a first year show at a library in an area that's never had their own con before. So I do recommend you be patient and you be kind and just keep in mind that they're learning and they are eager to learn and happy to learn. So just treat them with respect and kindness and you should do quite, quite fine. Um, the people are... So I heard somebody at ALA 
Jay Gacy say that everyone here is gonna assume you're from Louisiana and you should just tell them you're from Louisiana. And I think that is a really, a really dick move and I think that's kind of trashy. Um, please don't lie to people from Louisiana because um, the reason they assume you're from Louisiana is we don't get a lot of people who aren't tourists to go get drunk on Bourbon Street. Like, like mm, tourists don't go to Destrehan unless it's the plantation. So they have no reason to expect someone not from the area to be here because we don't get a lot of people from our other places here. So don't lie to them because they're excited to see you're a comic artist and they're looking for role models for their kids. That was a big one. So many parents, which is so touching for me, were like, my daughter draws comics and it's amazing to see so many female comic artists here. So these are parents who are looking for role models for their kids. Don't lie to them. Um, so I know that's like, a, like, I don't lie about where I'm from. So please don't lie about where you're from just to make a sale. It's not worth possibly poisoning that connection with someone. It's not worth lying to someone. So, but it was a good show. And if you're a Louisiana or a Mississippi native, I think, and you, you're willing to make the, the trip, I think it's worth it just because the people are really nice and I look forward to seeing you grow and I really hope I can be part of helping it to grow next year. I am looking to move down here again. I'm trying to find steady work. So hopefully I can be even more involved with it next year in whatever capacity they are willing to have me. I would be happy to give my time and my talents. It really, really means a lot to me to be able to do a show here in St. Charles Parish. When I was in high school, I know it's, it's to harp like that, but I was like really the weird kid and nobody understood me and wah, wah, wah. But like a lot of that came from, I was weird to be fair, but also a lot of it came from me doing comics and people assumed comics were for children and me being an anime and people assuming that was just all porn. Um, so I'm so excited people to see. People still think it's all porn. Well, nobody today thought that at all. I know, but I mean, nobody I mean, there. If you get a guy that's, that's my you, brother in, in, in public, they might think, oh, like, say it's a big muscly guy or. Uh, Dad, or this is going on my channel. I'm just saying, somebody people who do is still, not interested in anime would think it's still porn because that's you know, all they know about it. Yeah. From. So, so um, that was uh, yeah. Like so, when I was in high school, one of our we wanted to have an, an anime club or a manga club or a comic club. We were not super picky about which. And I think some of my other friends wanted to have Magic the Gathering club um, for after school, like an after school activity where you could have snacks and you could do fundraising, that kind of cool stuff. And we had to pitch it to Winona Champ Champagne. Was that Winona Champagne? For what? Well, we oh, had what? to, I'm pretty sure it was her. We had to pitch this to one of the vice principals and oh, yeah, she shut it down so hard. She was like, no, that's porn, that's filth. And there were teachers who were like, no, it's not. Like so a couple of the art teachers actually were willing to vouch. Um, and that was not good enough. Like that wasn't good enough, right? So like, it's nice to be able to do a Comic Con they here. Honko had a uh, uh, anime club uh, last year. I was What? They would never know. Who was the sponsor? I forgot who, but I just know that Brittany Brandon and them were in it. That's cool. I went one time. That's cool. You know, I'm just happy to see things change. I bring up how bad they were in the past because it's to, to highlight how far this has come and I'm really happy that I can be part of it in any way. I mean, I'm not the one pushed, I'm not the one in the trenches pushing for change. That's the people who've stayed here that are doing that. So I don't want to take any credit for that because that's not mine to take. But I am happy to help in any way I can and I'm happy to make comics in St. Charles Parish about St. Charles Parish as long as I can make a living doing it. I'm happy to do that. So anyway, I had a really good time as you guys can tell. I'll check in with you guys with my final totals and I'll see you guys again when I do my MechaCon recap in like two weeks.